thought of the day. Now, I'm sure you agree with me, we live in very interesting times. But what I find quite exciting is we seem to be working together. Have a listen to the scripture. From St Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 12 to 27. And this is the Passion Translation. Just as the human body is one, though it has many parts that together form one body, so too is Christ. For by one Spirit we are all immersed and mingled into one single body. And no matter our status, whether we are Jews or non-Jews, oppressed or free, we are all privileged to drink deeply of the same Holy Spirit. In fact, the human body is not one single part, but rather many parts mingled into one. So if the foot were to say, since I'm not a hand, I'm not a part of the body, it's forgetting that it is still a vital part of the body. And if the ear were to say, since I'm not an eye, I'm not really a part of the body, it's forgetting that it is still an important part of the body. Think of it this way. If the whole body were just an eyeball, how could it hear sounds? And if the whole body were just an ear, how could it smell different fragrances? But God has carefully designed each member and placed it in the body to function as he desires. A diversity is required. For if the body consisted of one single part, there wouldn't be a body at all. So now we see that there are many differing parts and functions, but just one body. It would be wrong for the eye to say to the hand, I don't need you, and equally wrong if the head said to the foot, I don't need you. In fact, the weaker our parts, the more vital and essential they are. The body parts we think are less honourable we treat with greater respect. And the body parts that need to be covered in public we treat with propriety and clothe them. But some of our body parts don't require as much attention. Instead, God has mingled the body parts together, giving greater honour to the lesser members who lacked it. He has done this intentionally, so that every member would look after the others with mutual concern, and so that there will be no division in the body. In that way, whatever happens to one member, happens to all. If one suffers, everyone suffers. If one is honoured, everyone rejoices. You are the body of the Anointed One, and each of you is a unique and vital part of it. Now I'm sure you've heard that scripture before, and you've heard it many, many times. But what's interesting about the scripture, and looking what's happening now, is we seem to be recognising parts of the body that maybe we never recognised before. We are thanking the NHS, the doctors, the nurses, the care staff, the teachers. We're recognising the bin men, the postmen, the people that are delivering our parcels. We're recognising those shopkeepers, those people that maybe were invisible to us before. And this passage speaks that very thing about taking care of our body and recognising those parts that maybe aren't the main parts. Now, I'm excited about what's happening. It appears that we are working as one body. We are acknowledging each other. We are hurting for each other. We are coming together to praise one another to congratulate one another, to uphold one another. We are working together 
as one body. And what amazes me is I haven't seen a time in my lifetime when we've actually worked together so much as one as we are now.